All right, what you're looking at is the water pump leaking right now, and that is the reason why he blew the head gasket, you know. You know, and this is the, uh, this is the result of, uh, of running your car hot. So I'm gonna try to save this guy. I might not be able to save this guy, I don't know, but it's worth a shot. All right, let's go turn that key. See what happens. Okay, so if you see what you just saw on a cold motor, on a cold motor with the radiator filled up and if it comes spurting out of there, you automatically know you got a blown head gasket. On this one, you got what, six pistons? So if you got a bad gasket on top of the pistons, you got a gasket, the heads, the gasket, and the pistons. So when that piston comes up and squeezes that air for the combustion stroke, and you got a leak in the gasket, that air is not going to be squeezed. It's going to go right through the gasket, into the water jacket, the water passages, through the hoses, in the radiator, and blow that air out of the radiator. Automatically, bad head gasket. So what we're going to try to do here is we're going to flush out this system. It's got to be straight water on a Blue Devil treatment. You got to take out the thermostat. You got to flush that system out. Everything, all that antifreeze has to be out of the motor, the radiator, the heater core. So you got to get a really good flush. First, let me get this water pump changed out. I got a one-year warranty pump on this job because I don't want to spend a lot of money if I can't get this thing not overheating again. I don't want to spend a lot of money on a brand new water pump and top of my labor. So he knows he's gambling right now. I gave him like a 60-40 chance. 60% 60 failing, 40% you might be okay for a couple months. It's getting ready to get cold too, so that might help him out a little bit. I don't know. Let's just get this blue devil in there. See if it works. All right, before you do this treatment, it's important that you fix the problem that caused the head gasket failure in the first place. So let's go ahead and uh, knock out this water pump. I want to add, when you remove that thermostat, you'll see an O-ring around that thermostat. You want to make sure you put that back on the housing and put the housing back on there. Uh, so that way you can seal that water up. If you don't have a gasket on there or an O-ring or something, uh, it's going to leak and your processes will have been done for nothing. So, All right, guys, we are ready. This is the Blue Devil we're talking about. Uh, it works. I'm going to say 50% of the time, depending on uh, if your vehicle can run 50 minutes without it overheating, this will work uh, most of the time. So anyways, let's do it. We got our system flushed out. We got our system flushed out. The vehicle is cold. I'm going to add my Blue Devil. I'm going to put the, uh, this is the big bottle I'm putting in this one. I'm not buying the little bottle. The little, little bottle is for a four cylinder. This is for an eight cylinder. I am going a little bit extra. You know, a little more can't hurt. All right, guys, we got the blue magic in here. The blue devil. All right, we're going to go ahead and fill up, fill this up to the top, and we're going to put our radiator cap back on it, and we're going to let this thing idle 
This has to be idling for at least 50 minutes, an hour, hour and a half would be nice. And you'll start seeing the smoke dissipate as you warm up the vehicle. So let's do it. You wanna make sure it's all the way filled up. All right, it's running worse than it did yesterday when I checked it out, actually. We got the check engine light blinking in there now. I didn't see that yesterday either. We tried to drive it here last night. I gave him uh, strict instructions. If you're gonna try to drive it over here and try to save that tow, stop. When it gets three quarters of the way up, pull over, put more water in it. He decided he wants to go all the way. And now it's running worse than it did before. I'm going to be lucky if I even get this thing back to a drivable condition. But you know what? Let's just wait it out and see what happens. We may, uh, we may, get, we may get lucky. All right, let me clean up. i got to get to the next job. All right, guys, and here we go. This, uh, it's running right now. It's running a little bit better. I, there's still a miss in it. But the objective here today is not everyone has, you know, $1,600, $2,000 to, uh, to get a head job done. And they gotta go to work, even if the work is like five minutes away. They can't go in, a, in the condition it was in. So, the, the good side about this, even if you don't get a, a good tow, tow fix, at least you'll be able to drive to work and back and, uh, and, 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 start and keep making money so you can get another vehicle or you can get another, get your head job done. Uh, right now, he should be good enough so we can get back and forth to work. I'm not recommending no long trips or anything like that because I don't know what's gonna happen until he drives it himself. Uh, the thermostat is gonna remain off. I am not putting on the thermostat at this time. When it gets a little bit colder and he calls me, I might put it back in there for him. But at this time, I'm not gonna put a thermostat in there. I might, I'm even gonna recommend him, you know, uh, is to get one of those smaller bottles of Blue Devil uh, maybe tomorrow or the next day after he sees how it's going to work tonight throw it in there one morning let it run for another hour uh, and see if you get a better seal or if the carb operates a little bit better after the second procedure thermostat's already out so all you got to do is pour in the blue devil it is holding water now so the water level right now is still at top and let me explain that a little bit during the beginning of the procedure I had to let it run for 15 minutes. I shut it down, uh, carefully let the pressure off. I had to seal that little bitty fracture up. So it took me like one, two, three shuts off, fill it up, run it, shut it off, run it, shut it off. This is not the normal Blue Devil kind of procedure on this one. It, it took a little bit extra because uh, I wanted him to get him running, at least so we can get to the store and back. You know, he's, not everyone has money, y'all. I just try to do the best I can for y'all. And as you see right now, it's running good. I know I'm just rambling on because there is a lot to know. <laughs> there's a lot, there's a lot to that, to get it the best you can. And the best I can is shutting it off, fill it back up, shut it off, put another half a gallon in it or quarter gallon and do that three times until the water stopped. It's, you know, until it started working inside the motor and blocking the leak. And that was it, man, it's running. All right, guys, and that's it. The Blue Devil treatment is over. Uh, it's running a lot better. There was some extra stuff I had to do so I can kind of force this thing to work because it was 
it was it was right there on the fence actually more on the not going to run again side of the fence but it's running it's running a little bit better it still has a slight miss to it but the goal here was uh now he can get back and forth to work even if that's the only thing he can do is get to work without overheating and coming back without overheating if he can do that he can save more money to get the head job done or buy another vehicle was the goal because in the condition it was in when i when it got here he wasn't going three blocks and that's going to be on the red so we changed the water pump we took out the thermostat we did the blue devil treatment we flushed it out all the cooling out of there we did the blue devil treatment and uh he's back and running and matter of fact there he is he's just pulling up ready to pick this bad boy up all right guys that's out that's it uh hayes mobile auto pair jacks mississippi peace